Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna talk all about life lately with my flights, scheduling, all that good stuff. So be sure to like the video and subscribe to The Pristine Posse if you haven't already done so. Without further ado, let's get into it. At the end of October, going from October to November, I got five days off. I didn't ask for five days off. I was just awarded five days off. And so, of course, I would love to just chill for five days. However, I don't like to be off more than four days at a time because once I have a four day trip coming up, which after those five days, I would have had a four day trip coming up. It's just hard to get back into the swing of working flights back to back. So I wanted to do, you know, something low key and between those five days just to keep my body in the mindset that we're still a flight attendant boo like okay because every time there's been a scenario where I've had up to like a week off it is a struggle to come back into work and to fly and my body is just like what is going on I will have headaches is bad so i have my schedule right here if you see me looking down so i originally picked up a stand-up and a stand-up is similar to a red eye you have a late flight in the evening and then you have minimum rest so it's about four or five hours and then you take the first five of the day which is an early morning like 5 a.m flight and you come back to your base and then you're done good credit so i picked that up first someone posted it for about $50. I was like, okay, I'll take that. Then there was a two day, initially a two day that was going into Chihuahua. So someone put $50 on it and then they bumped it up to $80. And I was like, ooh, that's a good trip. And then it was one of my friends. So I reached out to her and I was going to pick it up for her. And she was like, hey, if you can just pick up my whole three day, I will give you a hundred. And her three day was really easy. It was like one flight the first day, two flights the second day, one flight the last day. So I'm like, okay, that's super easy. I'll just pick it up. So I picked it up, not even realizing that I already picked up the stand up. And so now I have a three day, a stand up, and then I have my four day coming up at, at the end of the week. However, I was telling myself, it's really not that bad. I only have one day where I have two flights. The rest of the days are one flight a day. We love one flight a day, okay? Then we just chill in the hotel. And plus I received an incentive on both trips that I picked up. So I'm like, girl, you can't complain. All right, so first I worked the three day and then I had the stand up, y'all. I don't know why, but that three day drained me okay it really drained me it was full flights you know had to do service all that good stuff the passengers were good i didn't have any problems it was just like we had early report times of like 5 a.m so just the constant getting up super early and then we had like a three hour sit in between one of them so that kind of sucked but it was still easy but it just felt like a long day now for all of these flights i was the aft flight attendant so i was working in the back now on our way coming back from chihuahua mexico it wasn't that full however my exit row was full so for the people in the exit row i have to brief them and i basically asked them three questions number one are you aware that you're sitting in the exit row number two have you had a chance to read the safety information card and number three are you willing and able to help in the event of emergency so I received a yes from everyone. However, I had one person who just was like, yes, yes, yes. Like a little too eager. And I was like, does he understand what I'm saying? So this gentleman in my exit row spoke Spanish and didn't know much English. So I did have to move him specifically because if we do have an emergency, I need him to be able to know exactly what I'm saying and how to do the procedures if anything happens. So I was able to get someone to translate and switch seats with him. 
Now, the gay agent always asks the people who are sending X and row, are you willing and able to assist in the event of an emergency? However, because we're in Mexico, I'm gonna go ahead and say that <laughs> the gay agent asks this person in Spanish, and of course, he's like, see, sí, yes, but we're on this plane and I speak English, the other flight attendant only speaks English, so that's why we had to move him. So definitely make sure, one, always asking, these questions because that is mandatory and we're supposed to do that and two just having a discerning eye for those who are sitting in the exit row who may not know very much English or English is not their first language. Speaking of exit rows let me tell y'all one of my pet peeves. I cannot stand when a passenger who is not sitting in the exit row they see that the exit row is clear and they just move themselves to the exit row like no ma'am no sir anytime i see someone do that i will immediately tell them i'm sorry you have to go back to your seat i need this real clear and i don't care if no one is sitting there it is just rude to just get up and upgrade yourself without asking you need to come to me and to put the icing on the cake of that pet peeve i cannot stand when a passenger says why because I said so get up like because honey these are upgraded seats and you must sit in your assigned seat that you paid for hello like I shouldn't have to explain all that to you and I can see how other flight attendants get annoyed and get snappy but I just give everyone the same you know sorry you can't sit here you can't upgrade yourself yada 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 but like sit in your assigned seat and ask us first Okay, ask the flight attendant first, and yeah, we might be able to squeeze you around, move you around, but don't just get up and move, okay? Please, if you're a flight attendant, let me know if that's also your pet peeve in the comments. Anywho, just wanted to tap in and give y'all a quick tea time. Should we go live soon? Should we go live? I've been working, y'all. The flights have picked up, and your girl is out in the field welcome aboard welcome aboard okay i'm busy so just let me know if you guys want to go live i will do my best to post some content oh y'all let me know i wanted to try almond nails is this long does this look a little ratch is it too long i feel like it's long you know i feel like if i have to ask girl you know it's too long but then I don't like short almond nails because I feel like you, it looks like little, I don't know, nubs. You guys let me know. Is it too long? Cut it. It's fine. Let me know in the comments, please. Okay, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the Pristine Posse. Now let's get into the hotel segment. Here we are, hotel number one. This hotel just gave me the ick. Like, what is this on the door? What is that? Like, immediately I was like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Okay. Like, if it had that on the ceiling, obviously they're not going to have a skylight. I Over it. Just over it. I was just like, okay, whatever. Standard restroom. Why isn't there a door right there? I don't know. Two beds super super duper hard beds like <laughs> then we have standard tv microwave cool and then refrigerator no i don't even know what this is what am i supposed to be putting here clothes bottles y'all let me know in the comments i'm so confused all right refrigerator we have a refrigerator that's a plus microwave that's also a plus you guys let me know the stars below because i'm just not impressed and then this is just giving me i don't know gel cell vibes i i don't know i wasn't feeling this room here we are hotel number two we're in Garden City, Kansas. Okay, better. 
I don't know what's going on with the hole in the wall. Like, what's tea? Anyways, no skylight. Okay. But better than the first hotel. We have a little closet space. Of course, y'all let me know the stars down below. And then the beds were comfortable. Two beds, cool. We had our TV. You know, I'm going to start paying attention to where they place the phone. Because the phone needs to be next to the bed in the case of an emergency. Not all the way across the room. What a beautiful view of the homes and the luxurious dumpster. So pretty. Here we are, hotel number three. We're in Chihuahua, Mexico. I've shown you guys this hotel. Super dark in the tub, honey. Won't even be able to see myself. No skylight. But the shower does get super hot. I'll give them that. Here's the room. Okay, we got ourselves a little bed. We even got a pull-out bed. Cute, cute. We got our refrigerator, coffee maker. And then this is our view. Do y'all see Walmart over there in the corner? It's very Americanized in this area. There's even a Chili's. Who is getting Chili's in Mexico? I don't know. But somebody's doing it because it's up and running. A cute little perk. This TV rotates. Even though I'm not going to look at TV, I love this perk. Every time I come to Chihuahua, I always get octopus and tacos. Tacos are not shown because I inhaled them as soon as they sat on the table, child. So here is the octopus before I inhale that too. So yummy, oh my God. After lunch, I went and got a massage. Oh my God, the massage was so good. But y'all, please tell me why. After I changed clothes and laid on the table, I looked up and there was a camera. I was like, um, well, they done seen the goodies now. It's too late. Go ahead and enjoy your massage, ma'am. And it was a good massage. So, yeah. Please drop a black heart in the comments if you're still here with me. I went to Mexico on November 1st, which was also the Day of the Dead. So, they had these cute little decorations and decor outside which was really nice and a lot of people were dressed up as well so i just wanted to share that with you guys so cute here we are hotel number four so this is at lake charles louisiana where i picked up the stand up y'all look at this restroom skylight boom great lighting boom okay great lighting for makeup boom spacious you know area boom i'm trying to figure out why you know the better quality hotel is the hotel that i have the least amount of time in what's up with that i don't know and then do y'all see how the phone is literally across from the bed like i don't want to get out of the bed if the phone rings that's kind of inconvenient Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Pristine Posse. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Bye.